morning guys welcome back to my channel my name is hannah if you're new here welcome and if you're coming back again welcome back uh, so in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you week 16 of my weighing results um, so today marks two weeks to the day that i am post-op um, from having a gastric sleeve so as you can tell i'm a little bit brighter than i was this time last week um, but yeah, I'm finding the whole two weeks post-op a lot better than I did one week post-op. Let me just quickly pause this. Oops. Yeah, I'm finding it a lot better. Um, of course, we'll talk a little bit more in a moment. Uh, of course, you're going to want to see weight loss results or weight gain or whatever. Anyway. I'm going to share with you my weighing results for this week and then we'll go we'll have a little chat afterwards there you go enjoy barbie's back barbie bitches <laughs> hi so it's the 17th of july it's week 16 for wegging and last week i was 19 stone 10 so let's see what this week is going to show on the scale Ooh, nervous. Step off. Oh, look at that. Don't, don't count the point eights. So that means I have lost six pounds and I am very happy with that. Perfect. Yeah, so I'm so happy with that. That is six pounds off. Woohoo! So that means that in total, as you will see around here somewhere in a minute, uh, I've lost five and a half stone. Uh, so I am now half a stone away from the lovely six stone. Absolutely so happy with that. Not not uh, too many pounds to go until I drop into the next stone bracket. So, um, of course, as you've probably watched on my shorts, or if you've not seen them, have a look at my recent shorts that I did uh, to show me getting... Uh, my staples removed and then to show you how my stomach was starting to look without the uh, without the dressings I'm really really happy with the way how my stomach's looking in my head I thought oh my god I'm going to be left with these like horrible looking nasty things and you know what yes it will scar it's going to scar a little bit but it's okay it's not a problem is it really uh, compared to like you know the the newfound freedom that i'm gonna find i'll just have a quick oh show of my new stomach one minute so just so you can see so ignore these bits because that's just where the plaster's been but that's how they're looking so i'm pretty um a little bit of boob, we don't want that. Um, I'm pretty happy with how it's beginning to look. I was like out of the phone to my mum before, I was like, yeah, look at this. I'm thinking, well, like I'm doing camera shots, but I'm not. I'm just, <laughs> I'm literally just showing you. Ooh, my stomach. <laughs> oh my God. Anyway, we'll cover that up. Um, so how have I found this week? So on Wednesday last week when I did a video, I just looked hideous, felt hideous. Probably don't even look much better now to be honest with you. Um, also, on Friday, um, I had really, really bad stomach ache and I had one of them fat days where I just felt humongous, I felt horrible, I felt like everything that I was doing wasn't worth it, uh, really bad tummy pains, headaches, everything, you name it. Now, my period, I last had a period well, I'm going to put it up. I've got like a little app called Flow, so it's up there somewhere. And uh, again, you'll see it in the video. Um, get your picture. So I think it ended something like 20, 28, something like that. Don't quote me. Like, that's why I'm putting pictures there. Uh, so it wasn't really due until like another month's time. Uh, it's like the end of July. Anyway, lo and behold, I'm going to woke up on Saturday, start my period. I was like, really? Great. But then I was told when I rang up my um, bariatric nurse on Monday that um, 
the told yeah it can do that because it's a hormone change obviously your body's gone through a lot this that and the other so i have been nursing a bit of a crappy period uh, which i could have done without in other good news though i am drinking right so like i was really struggling like this is a 500 ml bottle in a day at first like for the first like eight days nine days i was really struggling to get past that amount and the reason like there's a dent in there because that's literally as far as i could get down so i'd put like a dent in it look at that and that's not today um it's like seven in the morning <laughs> right now um but yesterday throughout the day i managed to get that down and two cups of water so my ink my um not liquid fluid intake uh, has increased so i'm really really happy with that and i'm also able to guzzle down some fruit juices as well um i had some dairy lee uh, laughing cow that was nice um shakes i haven't i'll be honest with you i've really really struggled having shakes i find them boring um well not so much that it sits really heavy uh, so it sits really, really heavy on me, which I don't like. Um, what else? Oh, yeah. So what I've done with the shakes is I've made them into little ice lollies, which you'll see around here somewhere. They're nice. They are tasty. Um, I've also bought ice lollies. So like twister, the little mini twisters, they go down nicely. And some low calorie um ice lollies as well got them from B&M uh, next time I'm in b and I'll take pictures and um, I'll show them to you uh, so then you've got you know which ones I'm on about just in case you want to so I'll either put that in like the community thing where it's just as a picture or I'll do it as a little baby short so then you can see we'll see you know me ad hoc and all that um, but yeah I'm feeling really good I had um, I've had the go ahead that can go on to puree stuff after two weeks so that's from today um which is good so mum's making me some chicken and mushroom casserole dish uh, my auntie bless her she's made me some broccoli and stilton soup which is great with soup and it's two weeks in and i'm like bye soup <laughs> but i will still be having it that is that is a must because i love broccoli and stilton soup yum um, and also, like, I made, like, um, a curry. Made it from partner. Uh, so he had curry. And then last night, what I did is I, like, finally chopped my chicken and my chickpeas and mashed it. And I had some. And that was nice. That was so, so tasty. Um, I did have a little bit of a cock up on Sunday night. So my boyfriend got Chinese. And I thought, oh, I'll be all right. I'll just suck on a chip. Blech. I was so sick. Um, didn't feel too good after that to be honest with you um, just it sat really heavy on me so that's a lesson I wasn't ready for that type of food um, luckily it, it was only the smallest amount and I'm probably going to get hated and slated like oh, you've not done it right mm -hmm. sorry guys I'm sorry but I'm human and I just wanted to try something because I did but I'm okay I live to tell the tale I'm still here and I've learned a lesson and that doesn't mean I'm gonna go backtracking I'm gonna eat this I'm gonna eat that no it was just purely a little moment of weakness which I will never experience again because I did not like that feeling afterwards so good news is I can keep down chicken I'm really missing my proteins and also like you know the little sausages you can get tiny ones um, I can get the little tiny sausages it takes me about half an hour to eat one but it's just to get a little bit of protein in because I'm really really struggling with so much fluids like getting them down now that my staples are out I do feel a lot more free and um, it does feel a lot better I'm not feeling hungry um, like starving hungry I just feel like, oh, I could do with a little something just to pick me up because I do feel tired because I'm not getting as many nutrients in and blah, blah, blah. You know, you know the drill. Um, so that's pretty hard um, when you're, not, you're used to getting, you know, a lot more in your body. 
but it's okay. I'm all right. Anyway, that's it for today. Um, I will pop on. I think I'm going to go to B&M later. I'll go to B&M later and I'll do a little video for you. Does that sound good? <laughs> oh my God, what time is it now? Mm, yes, it's still in the sevens of the clocks. Ugh. I think I might go back to sleep. No, I can't. I've got work ringing me. Well-being check. Which um, should be good. I'll just tell them that I'm okay. Because I am. But I'm, I need to recover though. I can't really be going jumping around at this moment in time. I'm not going to jump around anyway. I don't even know why I said that. That was a very weird thought process. I'm going to look at going swimming soon though. Not today, obviously not. But that's something that I want to take on board. Anyway. I'm waffling now. I'm probably still very tired. Yeah, anyway, I'll see you all on the next one. Thank you so much for the lovely subscribers that are existing and the lovely new subscribers that I am getting. So grateful, so appreciative of you all. I hope you have a great day. On this channel, you will only get 100% honesty. That's why I fessed up about the Chinese thing. So yeah, 100% honesty for me because I am human and I'm trying to reach out to other humans. So if you're human, welcome. If you're one of those people who never steps a foot wrong and never have a little miss or Mr. Perfect, da, 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 this channel's probably not for you because I'm not perfect, nor do I claim to be. <laughs> That's my inner diva. Right, we're done now. See you soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.